Why, uh, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Pedretti Racing. I'm Mike Pedretti. Um, this video is going to be a little all over the place. I mean, it's about the car, obviously, and what's next. And I'm sorry, I haven't been really uploading a lot lately. Uh, we, my family basically came down with COVID. Um, so it's been kind of a whole cycle here, and I'm sure you guys know how that whole COVID thing is going on. To me, it's just like a flu, and it's whatever, but... I was sick, the kids had fevers, I'm looking after my kids, that's more important to me. My wife was sick, my mother came down, she was sick, you know, it's just, it kind of just hit everybody. And my father ended up getting sick. I don't believe my father had COVID. I don't, I don't think I had COVID, I just know that my mother did, and therefore we all kind of got sick. So I'm, yeah, you get the point. So, I'm just going to say it's COVID, as they all do. So, anyway, scratch all that, can't really scratch it now, but let's just dive into the video. Um... Today we're going to talk about what's next on the Mustang. I've had this, you know, thing on my mind for the longest time. That I'm sure you guys don't even know about that I want a GT500. I've been wanting one for like my whole life. And I could make some moves to get one. I had a couple of people make me offers on the car. Yes, my car. And we'll see where it goes. But as of right now, there are some things I still need to fix and titty up on the car before we uh, really do any type of moves like that. And it's not guaranteeing you that I'm going to make that move now or later. I mean, who knows, right? That's just, it's all in the air right now. So let's dive into what's going on now. Head out shared. My wife should be here shortly. She got Culver's. And uh, as you can see, it's still cold. I know some of you guys got In N Out Burger and Wingstop and whatnot, but we got we got Culver's. And uh, I'm not even gonna hate. There she is. The new exploder. Oh, you wanna hit me, huh? <laughs> it's been doing good all winter so far. Damn good car. Good, good SUV. But yeah, still got some things to do here. We're going to get into it. I mean, you can see one off the bat. The front bumper. This car is dirty as shit <laughs> right now. It's just been sitting all winter. So, yeah, we got to detail it, obviously. The front bumper needs to be done. needs to be rewrapped. No covers. Got covers. I was telling the fans all about it. She's going inside with the covers now. That's how good it is. I'm not lying. But yeah, we still need to wrap this front bumper. That still needs to be done. This has been put off for a little bit. We're going to talk about this hood because, well, there's stuff with this hood I'm not really impressed with or happy with. And one more thing will be this. Well, as you can tell, it's dirty as, as shit. Down here is broke. So I got a big heavy-duty sweatshirt up here basically holding it down to keep me comfortable in spot you get the point and um probably tear this apart but i'm gonna probably go with brahm seats maybe back to carboard depending if they got what i want in stock if not brahm and we're gonna tear all these out once that happens we are gonna dip into this rip it apart if you guys want me to do a video on that i can it's just kind of a pain to rip into it when it's right here <laughs> so yeah Seats broke. We'll have to dip into that. The front bumper is not done just yet. We got to wrap that. And the hood will most likely be off this car again because I thought this would be a good buy. And it basically bit me in the ass. It's a true Anderson composite hood, full blown carbon fiber. Um, it's like 1800 bucks. So, yeah, not cheap. I got the motor strut bar up here. Big mess in here. Uh, the motor strap bar, the hood would hit it from here as well in the middle here. So if you're rocking this hood and you want a motor strap bar, probably not going to help you. Especially with my setup and stuff. So I want to go back to the bar, 
because it's more reliable for my car to be hitting corners and taking corners. Um, I noticed the car going up at higher speeds wobble a little bit, whereas I had the bar before hitting corners and not wobbling, um, coming out of them. And you, you get the point. So I just I don't like not having my bar on there, that motor strip bar. And it's going to be probably hard to ship to sell this hood. I only do like local pickup stuff because I hate shipping. And shipping this hood would probably be, you know, pain in the ass. Other than the fact that I already drilled holes in here, these are real pins. Um, who knows? We'll watch it go on the next car, and those don't line up for them. You know what I mean? Like, my car's not, it's not perfect. And this hood also bothers me, because it's bent up a little bit right there, if you could see it. So, I have adjusted this hood many times before I even drilled holes in it, and it just would not, it's, I don't know if it's just the hood itself. It has to be because it's nothing else I can think of that's causing issues. So that's one thing that's got to go is this hood. I still have the cowl hood, but it's not going back on here. <laughs> I've told people the cowl hood's been sold. It's actually pending and still waiting for the guy to come and get it. Not a big deal, but um, that should be gone soon. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with this hood yet, but I'm looking for a, diff a different carbon fiber hood, a new one to replace this. So... One where I can still have my motor strip bar on, still have a nice look to it, and whatnot. So, these are fixes and things and changes. You know, what's next? What do I got to do? Um, springtime hits. I did have another thing in mind where we were going... I'll just tell you guys. We, we plan on going supercharged. I do have an adapter kit, so we're going to rock that as well. Um, we'll dip into that more. That'll be it for another video. Um... It's just, I got to, just waiting on some more pieces to the puzzle. I was trying to explain how to go into that, but we'll go into that, like I said, another video once we dip into it. So for now, she's just sitting, does not come out in the winter. It's freaking cold, man. Today ain't too bad, but we've been hitting negatives like quite a while. There's a Corvette, we're going to put a, I was going to say <laughs> LS swap, but you know, anyway. Yes, those are things that we have to do. Hopefully, I'm not boring you guys. Just saying, these are things that need to be changed, fixed, addressed, and definitely need a detail. So, if you guys want some detail on products, Deluxe Car Care, check them out. Use my code. Get yourself some little percentages off. As a diffuser as well. Uh, I want to take it out bad, but. I'm not that guy to pull it out in this shit. I mean, the Explorer is really nice, too. I love that vehicle as well. And then some people ask me, what do I drive in the winter? Um, some people on the channel would know already. Let's see if you can see it from here. Yeah, there it is. That rusted out dirge. The good old dirge four-door. When I had kids, everybody thought I was going to sell the Mustang. Nope. Just got a cheap dirge. Kids do fit in there as well. And we have this and some other shit, so it's not even a big deal. Mustang stays. The GT500 is something I've been wanting. I could have had it probably a while ago, but like I said, we I got I got two kids. I bought the house and married. And it's just if some of you guys are at my age, you know, in your 30s and got all this stuff going on, it's just, you know, it's not easy just to drop and go buy a brand new car. I have responsibilities, and those come first. But yes, it is something I'm going to be hitting on, going for. It might be this summer. It might not. We'll see how it goes. You know, we're just going to play it. Play it how it goes. Play it. Can't even speak because it's probably getting cold. All right, what's next? Oh, yeah, I did. I just, I finally remembered, you know, something else I planned on doing. But, I mean, this is something I've had planned for quite a while. Quite a few, you know, few years. But I saw a few other staying guys doing it, and I was like, man, now if I do it, they're probably going to think I'm going to copy. But I wanted to get the car wrapped and other stuff, you know, done prior, which has been like four years ago now. And um, I was going to do this about four years ago, but it didn't. Like I said, because others kind of shot the gun. And I thought about going carbon fiber fenders just to match the carbon fiber hood. And we'll see. It's something that's on my mind. It's been on my mind. And um, we'll go from there. It, it, like I said, it's a big cloud up here, man. Like, people are telling me, hey, I'll buy it. Then it doesn't fall through. Or, hey, I'll get it. It doesn't fall through. Um, 
it's just it's shit like that you know how it goes so we'll see if i end up keeping this car which i mean i'm not gonna lie a big part of me is saying keep it because i mean i could just everything i got is paid off besides the house but everything i have is paid off it's not like i have a loan or anything on this car and you know it's, i can literally do whatever i want to this car obviously you see i've done that so who knows maybe i'll rock this keep it for one of my kids one day that's the plan and then um just get a gc500 anyway yeah if i do that though I'll probably have to wait a year <laughs> bills are bills man all right well thanks for tuning in guys i'm gonna go inside and eat some food before that stuff gets cold and feed the kiddos because i know they're hungry I just got done making them some cheeky nuggies and um till next time thanks <laughs>